We will, we will rock it. We will, we will rock it. Oh. Just another day in the Chiang Mai neighborhood. Chilling out. Looks like there's a storm on the way, which I'm happy about. That's gonna be good news. Yes, yeah, so man, the other good news is, remember the hardware store that was closing down in my area? Look, we have a new hardware store down near the market. They moved premises, man. They moved premises, so it's not all doom and gloom. And um, this is probably a better location as well for them. And the premises are not so big, but the hardware store lives on. This is brand new. It's in a prime location. Uh, Cadcom Market is just here. So this will be better. This will be better, I think. Oh well, yeah, man, this is like, this is a miniature version of what they had before. I mean, the one before went back for, back for miles. So it's still only a couple minutes ride from me, so it's still local. Um, I come to the market every day anyway, so I was riding past and I seen, seen the people loading up the new shop. You can get virtually everything you need for your room here. Not all your DIY stuff. You can get all your plates and your bowls and cutlery. Um, yeah, they have everything. So I'm just happy to see them back in business. Happy to see them not going out of business. This place is smaller, it's more tidy here. And it's in a better location. Got your toys there for kids. Action man, 20 baht. Get your razors. I bought a pack of these and man, they cut my neck right up. They're the worst razors I've ever bought. Blunt. <laughs> you get what you pay for, I suppose. Look, washing up liquid, 10 baht. That is cheap, man. I thought 20 baht was cheap. I'm coming back here for me washing up liquid. This is the new, the brand new, just opened, ready for business. It's all good in the hood. It's all good in the Chiang Mai hood. Might show you guys just around near Cadcom Market. Show you what's around here. And um, you've got everything, everything around this market really. As you can see, you got food. You've got Mini Big C. Got Mini Big C here. Anything you need. We'll take a little walk up to the market. This is my area, man. This is my area. Got an old school dumper lit. Old school. Got 7-Eleven. Right next door to a mini Big C. I'll never see the point in that. They have like three little mini markets next to each other. Big C, um, 7-Eleven and maybe a Tesco. Just cross and show you where the market is. I know I've done a vlog in the market before, but I'll show you just the outskirts here. This phone shop here, you can get all your, can get all your top ups here. Sometimes if I'm lazy, I'll do my top up here. If I don't want to go down to um, Airport Plaza, AIS or anything. I mean, you can do it at 7-Elevens as well, or any ATM, but I like to go to an actual shop to top up. Yeah, so this is another little hardware store sort of thing. It's a bit more, bit more pricey in these ones, but they sell everything you need. And yeah, down here is Cadcom Market, where I always go, where I do, where I've done a couple of vlogs in the past. Um, get all your fruit. Yeah, I'm not going to go down there now, actually. I'm going to... I've got some apples and some bananas 
at home still so yeah just wanted to check in on the channel check in and show you a bit of the beautiful neighborhood yeah so this is higher higher district uh, my district um, there's not many never see too many westerners down here really which is what i like you know i love it down here it's got everything you need i mean later on tonight there'll be loads of food and stuff out here like this guy he's having a naplet hey sweaty crab <laughs> yeah so we do delicious little snacks i used to get my fruit from this lady but I decided in the end that well basically you just well you're not getting ripped off you just if you buy it from the market and cut it up yourself you're getting loads more fruit for your money so yeah this lady does amazing orange juice and she does passion fruit as well and she she mixes it all up on this by hand so yes I've had a couple of uh, later tonight <laughs> Yeah, I've had a few off her before. Um, she's on that like juicer all night, man. It's the time in a month where I need to change my money. So I'm going to do a money vlog and show you guys what I do and how I exchange my money and the best ways I think to take my money out. So we're going to have a little walk here in a minute. Then I'm going to head to the bank. So yeah, I do this once every month. I will exchange my money for the next month at the end of every month. And my, my rent and my bills come out on the first, first of every month. So um, as I said before, I never, I never ever use an ATM machine. Um, I don't think there's any need to use an ATM machine really. I always go into the bank and exchange my money using my card that way. Um, I know the cards from England that I use, so they're the cards I'm going to recommend to anyone from England. And, and there's a couple cards I know from the US, which I will put up on the screen as well and put all the links in the description, guys, so everybody knows. What I use is, is the Halifax Clarity Card, credit card. Um, this This card is probably the number one card with... UK travelers um, credit card it's got no fees no fees abroad and it's it's a good rate with the MasterCard as well so that's that's my main card and I have some backup cards as well and the Barclay card the Barclay card travel card is also a card that I have it's a credit card as well Visa um, what I will say is the the Halifax Clarity card is a MasterCard and that one seems to have the best rates, the MasterCard rates. So that's my primary card. Um, the Barclay card travel card. I'm not sure if it's still available. Actually, I will put I will put the info up on the screen if it is, and if it isn't, I will let you know as well on the screen or in the description. Thailand will charge you a fee no matter what card you're using with the ATMs. Normally two to three, three hundred baht, which is yeah, it's. It's terrible, really. You don't need to do that. All you need to do is go to the bank. God, this floor's hot, man. One second. Ah. Yeah, so what I do is take my card inside the bank and you take your passport with you. Um, you get to the bank and you get your ticket, sit down, and you sit down at the foreign exchange counter and they will call you up and then you just hand over your passport and your credit card or debit card and they will do some paperwork ask you how much you want to change and yeah that's it's just as simple as that and you avoid you avoid all the all the charges as well so this is what i recommend i will never use an atm ever really i never need to i use bangkok bank i've never been to another one so i can't really comment on comment on another bank but yeah they all do it i know they all do it there has been things online in the past where people are saying they've stopped doing it or they only do the mastercard 
and they won't accept the visa but in my bank Bangkok Bank I've asked and they will exchange visa cards or master cards they will do a money exchange no problem and I know you can use other cards as well it's not just a credit card you can use travel cards as well I know Starling Starling Bankworks which is a good travel card from the UK I will leave I will leave some links to all the all the cards that I use in all my backup cards so I will leave I will leave a link to Starling Bank and I will leave a link to some of the US cards that I know. I know there's a Halifax Clarity um, equivalent, um, Charles Swab or Charles Webb it's called or something. So I'll leave that link as well, which is, I know that's a fee, fee free card that a lot of the Americans use here. So yeah, and transfer wise, transfer wise is a godsend man. Transfer wise, I don't know what where I'd be without transfer wise really. I mean, if any of you are, if any of you are working online or collecting income in different in different currencies transfer wise is the perfect perfect bank account for you so yeah transfer wise is definitely definitely worth checking out guys and you can get um you can get a debit card with the transfer wise as well which i have for backup yeah we're gonna i'm gonna head off now to bangkok bank so I will see you guys in the car park. So just got down to the bank on the moat. Show you a bit of the moat today. Um, it's been sunny, it's been cloudy. It looks like there's another storm coming in. Uh, we've had some big rain in the last couple of days. So it's really cleared the air. It's been really nice. Not sweating so much as, as I was before. Um, the big, the big, some of the big rains finally arrived. It's still not been loads, but it's been a nice bit of rain, you know, it's cleared the air, so... Yeah, this is the bank I come to, Bangkok Bank. Um, it's right it's right on the south of the moat, Chiang Mai Gate, where I live. And there's Chiang Mai Gate just down here, and a two-minute walk brings you to Bangkok Bank. This is just the one I use. Yeah, the tie back to the pound is really high now, guys. So I've been waiting to pull the trigger for for a few days really it's gone up to 41 today um, I would wait a little bit longer really if I could I've seen it is forecast to go to go to 42 maybe next week but yeah I'm not gonna take too many chances you know I'm gonna I'm not gonna be greedy and 41 is still pretty good considering what it was before um, I was getting 37 a while back so 41 yeah I'm not gonna grumble with 41 so we're gonna do that today. Yeah, so I've got my passport, got my card, and we're gonna go in and get some lovely jubbly tie back for another month. Um, watch the bank balance go down a little bit more. <laughs> but at least you get another, at least you get another month in this lovely Chiang Mai Thailand, right? Um, there was a guy here taking your temperature, but it looks like they've knocked that on the head and now you just they got this barcode thing for your phone, but I've, I've not got this app on my phone, so I don't really use that, man. Just want to grab. Uh, exchange some money. Exchange, yes. Money, Thai baht. Uh, yeah, English, yeah. English to Thai. English to Thai. Yeah, foreign currency. Foreign currency. Yeah, it's number four, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Cup con crab. Moment, yeah. please. Oh. So easy as that people all you got to do is go in with your bank card and your passport they will they will scan your passport and keep a copy of it every time and you avoid the ATM fees I mean that's always a winner with me I don't know about you I don't know about you guys but saving money saving my hard-earned money is always top of the list for me yeah, gonna go and get the bike now and head back to head back to the room um, I don't know if you can see me, it's pretty dark in here, so I'm going to switch off and speak to you in a bit. Looks like there's some clouds coming in. Uh, the temperature's dropped off a few degrees in the last hour or two, with the dark clouds coming in, so... Yeah, it's nice not to be sweating when you're riding a bike. 
Yeah, it's cool down this way, man. It's just so nice and quiet. You know, I'd love a house down down here or something. Got Doi Sutep right there. No traffic hardly. Nice houses with gardens and yeah, it's really nice down here. Yeah, we're gonna take a left here and this takes you up to a little temple that I, that I do my vlogs in sometimes. I mean, look at this, man. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. So quiet down here. Choose this over over Niman or something any day. Not that there's nothing wrong with Niman, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's cool, some people hate this type of living. But I like it nice and quiet and like this now. Maybe the temple's closed up. Can't really go inside the temple at the minute due to the corona. Yeah, this is a little shortcut. Not many people know this way. I'll try and show you. I mean, something like this, you know, it's perfect for me. Little, little house, little house, you know, off the main streets, down a little back road like this. A few little shops out on the road. Bloody perfect. So we're back out on more familiar ground now. Um, I might stop off and get some banana chips. No, I won't actually. It's just a little idea for you guys that what I do to change money and stuff. It wasn't too thorough, I know, but I will leave some links to the cards that I use um, in the order that I recommend them as well. Like I said, they will mainly be UK cards, but I will put on some US cards that I know. And there's a few, well, transfer-wise is multinational. You can, you can use it any in the world. So I will put up a few travel cards as well. Um, if anybody wants to know more on the banking or more on the cards, just hit me up on, hit me up in the comments or hit me up on Instagram. My Instagram or my Twitter is is on my YouTube channel page. Um, I'm more active on more active on Instagram. Really, Instagram would be the better one. And a big thank you to all the subscribers. Um, I'm at 600 now, over 600. So a big thank you to all you guys that have subscribed to the channel. Yeah, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be great. It helps the video grow in the YouTube algorithm so any likes are well appreciated. I'm gonna go and get a coffee now and I will see you in the next vlog so take it easy man, take it easy.